Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about the regional cuisine of Gilgit Baltistan. A food in Gilgit Baltistan involves the use of mild aromatic spices and less oil. The origins of uh, Balti cooking are wide ranging and of much to China uh, because of the geographic proximity. Uh, and it tastes like the Mughal uh, uh, emperor's food and aromatic spices of Kashmir. Uh, here is uh, the list of popular um, Gilgit Baltistani food. Uh, first one is Harissa, and then we have Shapshuro and Chopin, Mamtu, uh, Goli, Bale, uh, Prapu, Marzan, uh, and boiled goat or which is normally skinless uh, and potato stew which is served with the goat meat if we talk about the harissa uh, it is among the acclaimed dishes of hunza the dish uh, will be arranged pursuing wheat meat and oil uh, so uh, as the oil they can use uh, the dry apricot seeds uh, likewise uh, this oil is uh, usually served uh, or particularly being used with the harissa and this dish is served on us uh, on the special occasions including the weddings uh, dining experiences and celebrations then we have shapshuro uh, it's the adaptation of pizza. Uh, Shapshuro may be the bread filled of a uh, mixture of hacked beef, uh, meat, and onion. Uh, uh, Shapshuro may be the loaded with the uh, onions, uh, chili, pepper, tomato, uh, scrooge, and new coriander leaves. Here you can have the glimpse of uh, Harissa and Shapshuro. Then we have Chopin. Uh, it's a traditional one from Gilgit Baltistan, uh, especially being prepared on different events and the particular event uh, to celebrate the death of a barbarian uh, king uh, in the traditional history, who was the Shari Badat. And we also have the Mamtu. Uh, it is an exceptional, rather uh, somewhat uh, more precisely called the divine dish to the Gilgit Baltistan. Uh, Mamtu is extremely uh, heavily quick substance. Initially uh, started uh, to come from China. And uh, when it is uh, cooked and baked in uh, in Pakistan, especially in the area of Gil Gilgit Baltistan, uh, it has uh, its particular regional taste. Its cooking methodology is exceptional as its taste, and Mamtu is uh, a heavenly cubes uh, supper with the floor uh, centrally filled with the mutton or beef and with the hot, hot spices. Here is the glimpse of Chopin and mamtu then we have uh, goli uh, and it uh, it is a, it is considered a kind of exquisite breakfast and it may be served uh, uh, on the ordinary as well as special occasions uh, regularly it may be uh, best served with the namkeen chai and uh, uh, it is the jialing will be the neighborhood uh, incidental dish uh, of Hunza Veli. And it is extraordinarily constructed uh, on the events of uh, Jani and also uh, on uh, several other occasions, particularly uh, when the wheat crop is prepared. Uh, in the month uh, of May and June when the wheat crop is prepared uh, and uh, people usually gather around for the festivity, uh, this dish is particularly served with the, uh, along with the bread and entirely, which is uh, made up of entirely grain flour and uh, uh, it is also served with the butter on the bread. 
And then we have the balay, it is also uh, called the noodle soup, uh, which is served along with the goat meat. And being uh, a cold mountain region, there are few more things warming uh, when the outside is very cold. And this soup is particularly served to make people, to have people uh, um, uh, against the um, uh, harsh weather conditions. The soup in this in Baltistan is not a watery affair, but rather it's a balay, and it is known as thick and uh, uh, heavily a uh, heavy um, soup, which is eaten like a gravy. So along with the uh, goat meat uh, broth that form the flavor uh, and base, there are uh, other gummy textures and noodles that are. Uh, um, that are served with the meat mixed within it and uh, it's a great way uh, of being uh, served from traditional uh, balti food uh, out of, uh, for which the origin is supposed to be skardu here you can see the pictures of koli and bale then we have prapu uh, 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 it's a noodle dish thickened with the almonds that have been grounded to the powder the noodles are handmade uh, using the wheat flour and then boiled until they get soft when ready they are covered in a thick paste which includes the ground walnuts and pressed apricot oil and the whole pot is then seasoned with the local herbs uh, the seasoning include the locally grown plato herbs uh, several of which you won't find it easily available but these are uh, these herbs are particularly originating from that area of uh, Gilgit Baltistan and recipes are uh, very hard to find but usually uh, you can see that um, um, on fun Greek uh, seeds and their different uh, potatoes with the thick sauce are also used to prepare this dish and most of the dishes here are made entirely uh, from the local ingredients and many parts of the recipe are made from the scratch by the families who are uh, developers of in, in these particular regions and you can uh, immediately see that this uh, um, type of cuisine is particu particularly attributable to this uh, uh, region of Gilgit Baltistan uh, then we have Marzan uh, soaking in the water uh, before being mild and wheat grains take about a couple of weeks uh, before they are ready to be ground. This gives the uh, flour a sweeter taste and uh, uh, this is a great food to have especially in the winter when uh, the weather is very harsh and very cold outside but because it keeps your body warm and uh, it uh, reduces the effects of the harsh weather conditions. So this is a rare dish that is usually uh, being eaten on the special occasions uh, such as the wheat is prepared uh, in a very particular way so that is why it takes uh, uh, it, it is usually difficult to prepare and that is why it takes a, a lot of time uh, and different maneuvering methods to prepare this dish and a uh, for the preparation, a ball of pure apricot oil uh, is also served on the small mount of marzan, uh, but slightly dry wheat dough is uh, served alongside. And consistency of the wheat is very similar to how it looks, uh, just like the dumplings or the cookie dough. Marzan is uh, very simple yet fulfilling and satisfying and almost uh, it uh, has uh, a very defensive effect against the cold weather and it's a it's an amazing meal uh, similar or identical like uh, the meals pre being prepared in Ethiopia uh, this dish provides a lot of energy to the people who traditionally work outdoors uh, around the year in the uh, in the very harsh mountain environmental conditions of Gilgit Baltistan uh, here you will see the pictures of uh, Prapu and Marzan. Then we have uh, potato stew uh, which are served with the goat meat. 
uh, considered to be one of the most inaccessible and remote areas in the entire world. Uh, Gilgit Baltistan has only recently had the road access, even uh, as you know, the it, it was the uh, country's cap uh, country's one of the important areas. Uh, but road was built in uh, 1978. However, there are several areas which are yet to be uh, connected with the uh, with the roads. Where potato Steve uh, is also uh, uh, considered to be the dish of those remote areas which are yet to be inaccessible. So this has allowed many traditional practices to continue until today, and uh, food as well, and the culture of food and stew like this one is eaten regularly now but not a traditional balti dish uh, it's a uh, it's a curry in that the ingredients are fried to make uh, a heavily spiced sauce before adding water but then it is served uh, as the very thick stew uh, it is full of large chunks of goat meat potatoes and seasoning blend uh, and much more spicy than what we saw as the more traditional dish of Baltistan. Uh, in the curry, you can taste the masalas or the spices, which are in, uh, including the cumin seed, uh, black pepper, uh, turmeric powder, dried ginger, and yet the spices are often milder than the other parts of Pakistan, including Punjab. Then we have the butter tea. Uh, butter tea is considered uh, one of the backbone of balti uh, cuisine uh, it is the uh, it's actually a drink it is not your uh, average tea however as it is much more than uh, simply preparing the green tea or black leaf tea uh, in the hot water uh, this tea contains the salt butter milk and is made with the pre-brewed uh, green tea leaves it is served with the uh, side of the uh, fresh ground wheat flour and a small dish of our, uh, pure apricot oil, uh, which you can add to your personal taste. Uh, 